Hi, everybody. Happy Feelings Friday. Um, this week, we're going to talk about what we're afraid of. So I posted a link to a story that I don't have here in this video, but it is in the calendar on Friday. It's called Please Don't Make Me Fly. And Miss Lauren reads it. So this is an example of a, about a little bird, a, a fictional bird, a bird that's not real in real life, who um, is really afraid to fly. When you think about today, maybe something you're afraid to try, maybe something that you wanna try. And what's interesting is, I'm gonna read a book today that's similar to Please Don't Make Me Fly, but it's a little different. Um, another comparing and contrasting moment. Um, but there's some things that we're meant to do, right? Like birds are meant to fly. Um, some may have a broken wing and they can fly, so they have to adapt and figure out how to make that work. Um, but we as humans, we all walk for the most part. We get around in the same ways um, or similar ways. And what if we were afraid? I know I, if you want to know what I'm afraid of, I am afraid of ice skating. I don't like being on skates or being on roller skates. And I've tried these things, but I, they really scare me. But often it's good to try things that scare us a little bit or find ways to make it work, right? Because sometimes when we try the thing that we're scared of, it feels kind of amazing, right? And something, sometimes it might be as simple as leaving your home and starting at somewhere new or moving to a new home or maybe just leaving home for a day to try out a new activity or go to a new place and spend the day there. That can be a little scary sometimes. And how does that make you feel? When you think of something that you've tried, maybe like me with ice skating or roller skating, that really scares you or you're afraid of um, and that you tried it anyway and what happened. I'm very curious. Um, I'm gonna read this book. So I also wanna hear what you think of the story of the bird and his family or her family, can't remember the character, in Please Don't Make Me Fly. And what happens and how did that bird's family support them? And I want you to think about that for yourself too. How does your family help you when you're afraid? Or the adults around you in your life, right? This book I'm gonna read is called A Frog Thing. And it's by an author, Eric Drachman. This is one of my favorite books. This actually came with a CD at one point. Um, like we, any of us have CD players anymore. Um, but um, it's a great um, audio listen as well. A Frog Thing by Eric Drachman. And it's illustrated by James Muscarello. And that's, that's the little frog we're talking about here. How do you think he's feeling there? Now, something you'll learn about this frog is he's not very afraid to try something new. But we'll see what happens, right? Frank wanted to fly, but he was a frog. And frogs can't fly. What do you think? Do frogs fly? Have you ever seen a frog fly? Not typically, right? Frogs don't fly. Frank was different, though. He was special. Aerodynamic. So it looks like he really loves to, like, get himself in the air and jump in the water, right? You can do whatever you set your mind to, Frankie, his parents had promised. So Frank set his mind to flying, but it was more like falling than flying. Do you see how he's trying to fly, but it's not quite working out? Have you ever tried something that didn't quite work? the way you wanted it to? Everyone laughed at him. Oh no. How do you think he feels there? There's Frank, he's hiding under a lily pad. How do you think he's feeling? Maybe a little embarrassed or shy. Tired and discouraged. Oh, that's a big word. 
Frank buried his head in his big webbed feet. And that's how Frank's parents found him. So when Frank's parents saw him after he was with his friends, that's how he looked. Frank explained his problem to his parents and there was a long silence as they thought about how to respond. Have you ever explained how you feel to your parents or to your adults in your life? And they respond or think of how to respond to what you're thinking about? Frankie, started Frank's dad finally. When we said you could do anything you set your mind to, we meant any frog thing. See, flying is a bird thing. Just like staying underwater forever is a fish thing. Yes, you should find a frog thing, said mom. But I want to fly. I'm sorry, kiddo, but frogs can't fly, explained dad. No, agreed mom. We can swim and we hop, but we don't fly. Hmm. They don't understand, he thought. Oh, we understand, they said, and they patted Frank's shoulder. Do you think they understand? And Frank just doesn't think they understand. I think they understand that he wants to do big things, right? So we'll see what happens. Him understanding was a frog thing. Makes me think about like, what's a human thing? Like, what are our things? What are some things that we can't do? We can't fly either, right? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Frank sat in the dark, still sad. But he was growing more determined. Mmm, determined. What's that word mean? I'll show them, he thought. I'll learn to fly, and I'll fly right over the pond. Oh, so he wants to make this happen. He jumped and he ran and he leapt and he dove. Oh, he's putting a lot of effort in. He flapped and flapped and flapped and finally just <sighs> flopped on top of a leaf to rest. He soaked his sore feet and hung his heavy head. Look, he tried so many things until splash. Something crashed into the water and started to sink. So Frank leapt into action. It's a little baby bird, he thought. Oh no, look at the baby bird fell into the water. He swooped down, he swept her up and swam her back to shore. Wow, it's a word I'm thinking of to describe Frank right now, I think they're gonna say it. The nervous mother of the baby bird hugged her baby tight, her baby coughed, then wheezed, then opened her eyes, safe and warm in her mother's wings. The mother bird turned and kissed Frank right on the cheek. Aw, that's so sweet. He was very surprised and a little embarrassed. Thank you, thank you, chirp, chirp, she chirped. What a great swimmer you are. How can I repay you? So what a great swimmer he is. Oh, it was nothing, ma'am, said Frank, for he was a very polite and modest frog. Please, I want to do something for you, anything. Well, suggested Frank, I really want to fly. But frogs don't fly, said Mother Bird. I know, admitted Frank. And you still want to fly? Frank shrugged. I've uh, set my mind to it. He's finding a way, how is he gonna fly? She looked in his eyes, then flew off in a flutter. Wait here, she cried, I'll be right back. And she did come back with another bird and a twig between them. Ooh, can you guys predict how they're gonna do this? Think about it. Grab on, she called. Before he knew it, they were high above the trees. The morning sun streamed through the sky. 
and the wind whistled over Frank's slick green skin. <gasps> Look at Frank. It was a little scary at first, but soon he relaxed and then glided and rose and swooped and dove. Everyone hurried to see Frank fly. They watched from the bank as he and the birds passed high overhead. That is no ordinary frog thing, observed Frank's mom. Look at him, he's way up there. Look at those birds helping him make his dreams come true. When the flight was finished, the mother bird pulled Frank close. You are a very special frog, she said. And with a whoosh of her wings, she flew back to her nest. Breathless, Frank waved. Thank you, thank you so much. Frank hopped home, somehow lighter than before. On his way, he met his folks, which means parents. Frankie, we saw you up there, mom beamed. Fantastic, croaked dad. You can do anything you set your mind to. Anything, mom agreed. Well, any frog thing, maybe, Frank explained. The birds were the ones flying. I was just holding on. But to think I could be one of the great swimmers, his parents smiled proudly as Frank joined his friends in the pond. Frank had wanted to fly, but he was a frog and frogs can't fly, but they sure can swim. The end, those lily pads. What's something you're really good at? Right? Like Frank, like came to understand that he was a really great swimmer. He wanted to do something different, got a chance to do it in a way that he didn't think was possible, right? But realized, hey, I can't fly. Someone could help me fly, but I can swim and I'm a really good swimmer. I swam so well that I saved a baby bird, right? That's what Frank said. So listen to the other story, and I hope you had a chance to hear me read this one. And um, let me know what you think. Think about what you're afraid of, maybe what you want to try, um, and try it out. <laughs> okay, I hope you have a really wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.